Hi guys, um, so I wanted to make a quick review on what can fit into the Paulin uh, Numero Wheat Mini uh, bucket bag. Uh, this is not a review. There are a lot of really good reviews about this bag on YouTube, which actually helped me decide which size to get. I, <clears throat> I knew that I wanted it in black uh, because... Um, Sometimes other colors, I mean, they, it comes in a lot of colors, all Polen bags do, but um, sometimes depending on your monitor and um, or, um, the lighting, um, they're not always true uh, the way that they're represented on the website. So um, I thought that uh, black would be pretty safe color to go with, plus I just prefer black bags. So anyways... Um, this video is more about what can fit in here because I received the bag yesterday and I've been using it since. I immediately switched into it because I love it. I'm so glad that I went with the mini. It's so cute. And um, the larger version, the regular uh, numero wheat, is um, much more roomy. It would fit a ton, a ton, a ton. And I kind of don't need that size bag in my collection right now. I have other ones that are similar in size and capacity. And if I really need to bring a lot of stuff, such as gloves or scarf or even a hat, um, it's winter here in Chicago right now. So um, I would just uh, reach for one of my favorite totes um, or, you know, a laptop and, and such. Um, I have a weakness for mini bags, but I also greatly appreciate when a mini bag is deceiving and it looks tiny, but it fits a lot. So uh, this is why I wanted to make this video. Um, some of the reviews of this bag are very great and, and detailed and with mod shots and everything. And um, when it comes to showing the capacity, I just... Um, think that in those videos it wasn't very realistic it was either too little uh when a, a person would just throw in a card holder a lipstick and a phone and just show how much more loom is left uh, that's very minimal if i want to bring only those couple of things i would probably uh bring a wristlet uh, other than the bag so that was not realistic for my day-to-day -day life and then some other reviews just showed the capacity of the, how many different pouches you can fit in a coin purse it's different size pouches uh it, in my life it's also not realistic i don't bring multiple pouches i do have one catch-all pouch in here which i will show you for um you know to to catch little items so they're not scattered all over the bottom and rolling around um, but I don't bring five, six pouches, uh, for different purposes. So this is how I pack it. It is, um, it currently is stuffed and contains everything I need for, um, any kind of lunch out, dinner out, errands, shopping, anything that does not, um, require any kind of, you know, taking off your scarf and putting it in your bag or carrying gloves, like my gloves would probably be in my coat pocket right now. If I get to the store and need to take them off, I would just stick them in my pockets. But um, this is just an example and um, it's just really great. I am so impressed by this bag. And also, um, it was quite a surprise because I was worried about the size of it uh, based on other reviews that I've seen. So first comes first, um, I have my mask in here, it's just a, like a satin mask from um, Etsy, let me try to move it out of the way, um, I have a Samsung Galaxy 851 5G phone, so I'm just using the uh, case from my phone for reference since I'm recording with the phone, it's a pretty, I wouldn't say average size, I would say it's on the larger side. I'm not sure how it compares to um, iPhone. I haven't had an Apple phone in a very long time. So it's on the larger, um, definitely on the larger spectrum. I have tissues. I like these flat, uh, flat ones. Um, and so hopefully you can see this. The main idea, let me turn the 
flash on. There we go. It's better. I find it that the best way to pack this bag is to put your items vertically. Um, so I have a hand sanitizer in here. It's not the smallest size. It's a two ounce Purell and um, I like how it fits in one of the pleats of the bag and is easy to just pinch with your fingers, get it out and use it. So if you don't want to hang the sanitizer on the outside, like in a little bag charm form or whatever, that obviously is an option too. So it's easy to reach and you don't have to touch your bag at all. And this is another good option. I know it's not the smallest size, uh, Bath and Body Works and other ones, if you don't want to hang it on the outside with a little uh, pocket bag holder, you can throw it inside. But what is going to happen, because this bag is kind of narrow and taller, I guess taller than it's wider, uh, the sanitizer would end up at the very bottom and you would have to kind of rummage around to get it. So this works better for me. And then um, everything else, you just try to kind of fit it vertically into one of the pleats. Um, I have the little gold bond hand cream and I pack it the same way. I put it in a pleat uh, because this bag is kind of like flower shaped, right? So there's quite an amazing amount of stuff that fits into the pleats so i have the soft pouch for my sunglasses which i was wearing earlier today because it's sunny out um i prefer to use this kind of pouch in this kind of bag this bag is pretty structured you don't need a glasses case they will not get damaged in this bag but they might get scratched so this kind of pouch works great if you want to bring your sunglasses it protects it from scratches it also doubles as a cleaning cloth um, I hate having fingerprints and weird smudges on my glasses so I like this kind of pouches for my more structured bags and I use them to clean I have a dual finish foundation by Lancome which is a compact with a mirror and also a foundation that can be used dry or wet great for touch-ups or doing just the entire makeup. I have a uh, Bluetooth um, for phone calls and listening for audiobooks. Uh, it would also fit um, like a Bluetooth earbuds in the case if you prefer that. I have a bomb. This one was at the bottom because smaller items do tend to fall all the way to the bottom. I have my car keys uh, which are fine being at the bottom because I don't need to pull them out to get into my car and drive it's the um, uh, push to start keyless entry and then I will show you right in the middle I have a catch-all pouch which I will get to in a minute um, I have a larger size um, um, card holder here it's by Ted Baker it's great it has five card slots which could be doubled it has um, a slot where you as cash fits folded in half i know a lot of people don't like to fold their cash too much so it fits nicely and then it has another pocket on the opposite side for receipts or um coupons and then it has a zipper compartment for coins or more cards or cash um i really like this type of uh, card case it's pliable um i am a big card case collector and i have some higher end and mid-range um brand ones and i like this one because it's made of genuine leather it's very pliable so it doesn't bulk up it stretches a little and works really well and you don't even really need to get it out if you need to get a card you just pull the card out pay and then stick it back in so it can stay in the bag and then what else yeah i have my house and uh office keys uh they are currently in this fossil uh long limb vintage pouch it is similar in size to the six ring key holder by louis vuitton and similar card cases i have those two but at the moment that's what i'm using um it's a very standard uh, key pouch size and then what else i have a lip gloss by Kiko Milano it's an Italian brand this stuff is amazing it um, 
makes your lips look like they're coated in diamond dust very sparkly and then at the very bottom hope you can see the camera will focus it says pollen made in spain in the middle and they have one of those clippa um bag hooks for you know hanging your bag on, on a table or a door or whatever so anyways all of this all of this fits into this bag and now i will get to my catch-all pouch um i like to use this um mesh pouch this is from base travel by shea mitchell it is the smallest size out of the trio mesh pouch set that they offer this is the company name base um i like to use a pliable pouch in this bag because the opening is kind of narrow it's a little restrictive so you don't want anything too rigid um it will fit um like a mini pochette and things like that but it, as long as your catch-all pouch is pliable it would work best i never leave the house without this pouch this is the one that goes uh, with me from any bag to bag um, any bag large or small i try to keep it um this size so it fits into all of my mini bags as well as the large ones and the backpacks and things like that but um this is basically all of my emergency slash non-emergency essentials i have a headache medication i have tweezers here i have um um eye drops for contact users um altoids uh sure free mints a safety pin, a modium, I have nail clippers, I have a nail file which you cannot see somewhere in there, I have a monk fruit uh, sweetener um, for low carb people who don't want to use sugar but want to sweeten their coffee, I also have a panty liner and some wipes and some band-aids um, and a floss and all of that fits in here um so this i have to have and it fits into this bag perfectly i kind of throw it in the middle and then put everything else vertically on either side of it but uh when i have this bag fully packed as you just saw before i took things out the key for me is to pack it in a way that it's still functional um it's one thing how much the bag can fit it's another whether it becomes super fussy and cumbersome to use in practical day-to-day -day life so the way that i had this bag packed before i could easily take out my phone check it and put it back in i could easily take out my card holder pay at the register put it back in same goes for everything take out the package use a tissue put it back in use the sanitizer put it back in use the mirror use the keys to lock and lock the door put them back in and also take out this pouch and the contents uh whatever i need from it and stick it back in without things collapsing a lot of times you pack the bag and it looks nice and you play tetris with your items but then you pull one thing out and everything else collapses on top of each other and it becomes a mess and you cannot place your item back where it was because everything has collapsed in one gigantic pile so the point of packing this bag with your items vertically uh, gives you access to everything easy quick um, access and also being able to replace the items where they were uh, same goes for um, sunglasses like I said I had my sunglasses in here earlier I took them out it freed up some space um obviously you would have more space if you're using this in the evening for a date night and you don't need to bring your sunglasses you would have more room for something else i don't always bring the keys um the house keys if i'm uh, leaving and coming and going through the garage i don't need these so it all depends on your daily life and your necessities but it does fit even a um, mini umbrella if you need it for emergency obviously not for a long stroll in a park but to run from um, a restaurant to your car um, a little totes umbrella fits a little water bottle which I'm not gonna carry a water bottle in a mini bag but this this bag is um, definitely quite a gem and quite a surprise and it's ridiculously cute 
and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. The quality is amazing. Uh, you can cinch the back if you really want to um, cinch the top, but I don't see anything falling out other than maybe a lip balm or something that's um, not very valuable. Everything sits in there nice and tight, and it's super cute, and it also sits surprisingly well on your body, even though it is this roundish flower shape. Um, but I'm a big fan of bucket bags. I always have been, and this is the most unique one I ever come across. So I hope this helps you make a decision if you've been thinking about buying this bag. I highly recommend it. It is beautiful. You would not regret it. Um, even in a mini size or get a bigger one if you have more things to carry um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you for watching. Um, have a good one.